Hello, my future millionaires. Today, I'm going to go over some of the most versatile and easy to use investing apps you can get right now and start on your path to take your finances to a whole new level. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button for more videos. Before we jump in, some pointers you should have or at least start working towards are writing down your investment goals, the very first one. Next is building an emergency fund as your safety net because you should always have a safety net. And lastly, paying off any sort of high interest debt. Because if you have high interest debt and you're earning on the other side, well, all the money that you're earning from this side is just going back to the other side to pay off the interest. It's like running a, running in a wheel over and over again and going nowhere. All right, on to the main crux of this video. So, which are the best apps to use that you should have in this day and age? Well, for starters, Robinhood. You've probably heard of this. When it came in the market, it was a game changer. It introduced commission-free stocks right on your phone. A lot of other companies have followed suit because of this because they have to compete with free. And aside from that is the very sleek and refreshing app making it easy for everyone to invest in stocks and even Bitcoin, but no other cryptocurrencies yet. And I'll actually include a link down below you can use to get onto Robinhood and also get uh, free stocks as well when you sign in through my link. An alternative to Robinhood is Webull. Webull is another app that's making waves in the finance industry. It is very easy to use and if you're more technical, you can actually get into more charts and also more features that Webull offers that Robinhood does not. And also I'll include another link below, again, to get free stocks, I think valued it up to $1,600. If you are that lucky to get that, please let me know and maybe go 50-50 with me on that. <laughs> Just kidding, you can keep it. Um, on the other side, so cryptocurrencies, one of them, which I know is such a big um, deal now, especially with Bitcoin rising every day, going to all-time highs, you know, just getting up there like crazy. Um, one of the applications you can use, which is very simple to use, is Coinbase. You, you may have heard of it. It's very user-friendly and it's very easy to use, especially if you're a beginner. It makes it a lot easier to just buy into uh, the stocks, um, into the cryptocurrency that you're wanting to buy. This can be Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple. Surprise that Ripple has actually been removed because of uh, SEC actions against it. But besides that, all other cryptocurrencies. Now, if you are more of the technical kind, the alternative to Coinbase is Coinbase Pro. It's actually owned by the same company, but it's more technical. It has more, more features you can use. It slightly has a less user-friendly appeal to it on the app, but... On the bright side, I would actually recommend that over Coinbase, the basic app anyways, because you actually are charged lower fees for the same trade. What I personally do is I actually use, because it's so much easier to look at in Coinbase, just the regular Coinbase app, um, it's so much easier to use. I just go in there, put in my amount and see how many, you know, how much um, Bitcoin, for example, I, I would be getting for, for the specific dollar amount. Um, like, for example, if I spend $100 on Bitcoin, how much Bitcoin would I be getting? And then I would take that same amount, put it into Coinbase Pro, and then I would see that I'm getting more Bitcoin for that same amount of money I'm investing. So that's what I would recommend. Um, some other things I would also recommend if you are not really into investing and kind of not wanting to do this hands-on is Betterment. Betterment is an app that you can actually just take your money, put it in there. It's a robo-advisor or investor, actually, a robo-investor. It'll take your money, invest it for you, depending on what type of investor you are, if you're aggressive, not aggressive. And then what it'll do for you is it'll manage your money. I believe that uh, currently they have a program where if you invest up to $5,000, they'll actually manage your money for free. So if you have under $5,000, I mean, they'll, they'll manage it for you and increase your money for you. Now that is more advisable on the long term end because when you're trying to uh, trade stocks, you know, every day and things like that, you're more likely to lose money because that is a lot more risky. That's, you know, day trading, for example. Um, you don't want to do that. It's a lot more riskier, especially if you're a beginner. But 
you invest in you know stocks across the board you're going to ride up with with all the stocks even if one or two of them drop down overall you'll still be increasing in value and that's what you want now if you're into wanting to invest in real estate but you really don't know where or how to invest in real estate there are so many apps but i'm going to share one this one is called fundrise now this is an app that you can use pretty easily but the downside to this is your money is not liquid and what i mean by that is once you invest you are committed to keep that money in there for quite some time i believe it's um every three months uh, every three to six month intervals where you can actually remove money but can't really take that money out um and usually i believe it's if you take it out prior to a year you kind of do get penalized just slightly so something to keep in mind real estate again itself is not very liquid but this does give you some sort of liquidity for the most part so in the comments below, let me know where you guys are in your in the financial ladder. I mean, there's no wrong answer. You could be right in the beginning. You could be, you know, you could be right at the top. You could be right in the middle trying to just get your way there. It just, there is no wrong answer. We're all in this trying to get to, you know, a better life, a better uh, income and increase our income and increase our wealth. I mean, if you're watching this channel, you're definitely better than the majority of people right now because you're doing yourself a favor. You're actually sticking in there you're trying to find out information to make your situation better for you and your family so you're already ahead and you can definitely do it i know you can if you're a teenager this is the best time to invest seriously you basically have no monthly fees you basically have no monthly expenses and you're probably having uh, income starting to roll in that's the perfect time because you can set the best habits right now and one small tip, I know this is kind of random, but I just want to make sure that we're all on the same pages. Be patient and don't react emotionally, especially with stocks and investing. A quote that I always keep in mind from Warren Buffett is, be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. And this example is so beautiful. I cannot tell you how much this specific quote has made an impact on my life. I've genuinely noticed this. Every time something bad happens to a big company, for example, that seems pretty recoverable, I invest and make money. For example, when SpaceX's rocket blew up, stock prices plummeted, and I knew that as soon as I came on the news, my mind went right into, I gotta buy this stock. Because you know that a company like that is not gonna go bankrupt because a rocket blew up. That's not gonna happen. Then guess what? Next few days, the prices steadily rose back up. I'm actually holding on to my stocks because they keep rising. I've actually made more than I put in. So I've actually made my money on that. Now, on the flip side, a couple years ago, when Bitcoin was rising like crazy, a lot of people invested because of the fear of missing out or only for it to come crashing down. Which is why I do not recommend buying Bitcoin, especially with its current rise and new all-time highs. It keeps hitting. If you still want to and have the funds, I would say invest in an amount that you're comfortable with losing. So, you know, maybe just don't take out a second mortgage for Bitcoin. All right. Well, hopefully you guys found some value in this video. And if you did, please hit the like button. It would mean a lot to me. And please hit the subscribe button for more videos. And if you guys have any comments or any uh, any issues or any sort of concerns, comment down below. I'm reading all my comments and reply back to each one. It's, it's me. I don't have a team of people. It's just me. Um, it will be me replying back. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time on Dan Daily.